What are you doing, Rachna? I was looking for you. I'm actually coding a website to keep a track of all the key announcements that we need to track. Hold on. Coding? Yeah. Uh, when did you become an engineer? I have many talents. Sure, sure. Please tell me how exactly you're doing it. What talents do you have? I don't think you'll get it. It involves a lot of complexity. Right, There's right, API, right. API, software, HTML, Java. Right, things. right, right, right. That's what someone who wouldn't know how to code would say it. That's not true. I'm wipe coding. What the hell is wipe coding? Look how aesthetically nice it's looking. But I'll tell you what wipe coding is. So, here's the thing. Wipe coding is the newest shift in software development where you don't write the code, you just describe what you want in plain simple language. Basically, describe your vibe. And the AI will write the code, fix it, update it and even deploy it. It's building apps by talking and not just by typing. This idea took off when Andrej Karpati, who is the former director of AI at Tesla, introduced this term earlier this year. And after that, the tech CEOs jumped right in. Google's Sundar Pichai said wipe coding has made building fun again. And he's not exaggerating. People inside Google who've never coded, the teams that are not supposed to code, are now making internal tools on their own. There's also Microsoft Satya Nadella, who admitted that he also enjoys wipe coding, but also gave a reality check. Check. He warned about something he calls a slop code. That's AI code that looks fine at first but falls apart under pressure. That also sounds like my life in office. But what he's trying to say is that a slop code is the one that works today but will collapse tomorrow. So wipe coding may be powerful but it's not perfect yet. And then there's Zoho Sridhar Vembu reminding everyone that beneath all this magic that AI has created through wipe coding, the compiler still has to process real instructions. Vembu's point is simple. The wipes will help you build fast but actual engineering is what keeps the system alive and going. So the big question is, what does this do to jobs? Well, wipe coding won't remove developers as we know it, but it will change the kind of work they do. The repetitive tasks that junior engineers are usually handling will get automated first because of AI. That means startups can now ship their first version with one founder and one AI assistant instead of having a five-person team, which saves them cost. But at the same time, it creates new work for people because you need people who can review AI output, people who can fix the bugs that AI can't understand, people who can secure messy machine-generated code. So the job shifts from typing code to supervising it. Startups have embraced wipe coding faster than everyone else because it saves them time that they don't have. A two-person team can now build features in days and not in weeks or months. Demos look polished, investors see progress immediately. In a cash-strapped environment, that's practically gold. But there's a flip side. The code behind these fast demos is usually messy. It looks great on the outside, but scaling it is painful and that's what Satya Nadella was cautioning about. So senior engineers will still matter because they'll be the ones who'll eventually make the wipe coded product stable. So this means wipe coding lowers the barrier to building software. It speeds up teams, it empowers people who've never coded before, like me. But it also creates new risks, new responsibilities and a whole new kind of a developer role. The AI can wipe. Humans still have to verify though. And for now, that partnership between human and AI is where the real power lies. Do let us know what you'll be wipe coding and what are the portals that you are creating using these softwares and AI. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. Make sure you follow us and stay updated on all our social media platforms.